and welcome back to the audience of Boxing One. Our theme today are the most perfect shots of the destroyer, Andy Ruiz Jr. But before hitting the video, remember to like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any Boxing One videos. First up, it's Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua, June of 2019. Ruiz's best punches were probably in the third and seventh round of this fight with Anthony Joshua in 2019, up for all four WBA Super, IBF, WBO, and IBO belts. Diving with a big right hand that lands on Joshua, and a flurry, Joshua covering up. Big blow, and now another. Can Ruiz counter? Oh. Joshua's down again. In the third round, Andy Ruiz launched consecutively into AJ's temple the combined hooks, along with his lightning fast pace. This left Anthony Joshua stunned, disoriented, and collapsed to the floor. And, and Ruiz, Ruiz counters! Ruiz counters, and Joshua's oh. down! Andy Ruiz oh. headed towards the end of the round, and Joshua's down again! Anthony Joshua is down for a second time in round number three. In the seventh round, the Destroyer had repeatedly delivered precise blows to AJ's jaw, face, and temples. Joshua big left hand that stung Ruiz, but then Ruiz right back at Joshua. These horizontal hooks and hooks combined carry tremendous power along with lightning fast speeds that caught Anthony Joshua by surprise, stunned, and fallen on the spot. Finally, the referee declared Andy Ruiz the winner at 1.33. Andy Ruiz versus Devin Vargas, March 10th, 2018. In the first minute of the first half, Andy Ruiz confirmed his class with a knockout of Vargas in a very neat and accurate way. He landed a big right to the Temple of Vargas, causing the opponent to stagger and fall into the ring without resistance. Referee Thomas Taylor called off the fight. Ruiz showed good power and speed during the short fight. Next, it's Andy Ruiz versus Josh Gormley, July 16, 2016. In a match against Josh Gormley, the Destroyer launched a thunderous right hook in an extremely fast speed, like a rocket loaded with fuel that sped off the ground. There were dozens of punches in a row, precisely causing Gormley to collapse on the ropes before lying on the floor. The referee decided to stop the match in front of Ruiz's blood in 1.42 minutes. Next, it's Andy Ruiz versus Kenny Lemos, October 25th, 2014. About a minute into the round, he dropped him to one knee with a right hand to the head. About a minute later, Ruiz backed Lemos into the corner, unleashing a heavy barrage of punches. While Lemos was not visibly hurt, referee Dan Stell saw enough and waved the fight over at 218. Next, it's Ruiz versus Manuel Quisada, May 17, 2014. The match between Ruiz and Quisada also satisfied Khan's eye with a consecutive thunderous punch by Ruiz. Totalmente de acuerdo. Along with the strong and accurate punches, the destroyer knocked out the opponent immediately, causing Quisada to kneel on the floor with a bloodied and lethargic face. Pero si les parece, vamos a revisar un poco, señores, señores. Hey, cuando hay caída nuevamente, visita. The game ended quickly in the second minute of the second half. Next, it's Ruiz versus Joe Hanks, July 27th, 2013. In the fourth round, Ruiz struck suddenly with a right hand that caught Hanks totally by surprise, followed by a left that sent the big man down to the canvas, timber style. Lunging at him with that left hook. Oh, tremendous left hook! I read flattens! 
The referee got to the count of nine and three quarters, if you will, but that's not ten, so he didn't count Hanks out there. Hanks was done moments later, though, as Ruiz jumped on him again and put him down immediately, finishing the fight at 141 of the fourth round. But uh, Rafael Ramos caught it. There's another good left by Hanks, but then a good left to the head by Andy Ruiz and Ruiz none. Next, it's Ruiz versus Matthew Greer, March 16th, 2013. In the early minutes of the first half, Ruiz showed more of his advantages like strength and speed. With a strong attack and head and face, Ruiz stunned Greer, paralyzed, and fell back to the floor. The undefeated Ruiz notched his 18th win and 12th career knockout victory at the 253 mark of the first half and did not give the opponent a chance to counteract. Next, it's Ruiz versus Marenzo Smith, September 2012. From the first minute of the first half, Ruiz showed his advantage in speed and power and was superior to Smith. <laughs> By 2-11, Ruiz had repeatedly delivered precise blows to the head and face, causing Smith to stagger, looming over Ruiz before falling backwards into the ring. Next, it's Andy Ruiz versus Ken Frank, September 17th, 2011. In a match against Ken Frank in 2011, Andy Ruiz showed his strength through punches in the second half of the match. Ruiz landed three consecutive punches to Frank's head and face at lightning speed. Andy Ruiz's powerful left hook caused Frank's massive body to gradually tilt to the right, tumbling and bending his knees to the floor. Even if it wasn't for his hands against the floor, Frank probably wouldn't have been able to keep getting up afterward. That's a compilation of the 10 best punches of the destroyer Andy Ruiz Jr. In your opinion, is there any Andy Ruiz Jr. punch that deserves to be on the list anymore? Please comment below to tell us your opinion. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and especially on the bell icon so as not to miss the next video of Boxing One. Goodbye, and see you again.